you know, it's, it's easy when you first get that registration number to say, okay, good, I've got a year to take my law and ethics exam, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to focus on employment, and then on day 364, I'm going to take that law and ethics test. It's much smarter to take it right away, right? After you graduate and you have your intern number, you are immediately eligible to take the law and ethics exam. You do a, a little, like, one-page application to the BBS, they say, yeah, sure, you're, you're an intern, so of course you're eligible. And then uh, the, the contractor they use to administer the exam gets a hold of you to say, okay, when do you want to schedule for it? Um, if you take the exam right away, the law and ethics exam, not only is your knowledge fresher because you are just out of school, but you can also fail the exam utterly inconsequentially. All that happens is then you have to take it again in 90 days. Whereas if you wait until day 364 to take your exam, then if you fail, you can still renew your registration, but before you take the exam again, you have to do a 12-hour continuing education course in law and ethics which means time, it means money, um, it means studying. Um, why not just go get the test out of the way at the beginning, not have to stress about it, and if, heaven forbid, you, you don't pass it the first time, take it again in three months and pass it the second time.